Waking up on the side of the street just provides me with so much energy first thing in the morning. It's got a feeling and a vibe that I just, I just can't explain. I wake up so alive and so creative and ready to just to go make something. And it got me thinking about the inside of my van about the one thing inside of my van that just changes the entire van life for me. The place I spend the most time, the place I feel the most creative. Inside of my van, I have one thing that changes it all for me. Yep, my desk. My desk is how I stay creative. It's how I express myself. It's a vital, important part to my everyday. Without a creative place to express myself, I don't know who I would be. So if my van didn't have a place that I could sit down and just pour my heart out, pour the music and the creativity, the color, the expression out of what's inside of me, my van wouldn't feel like home. Build your van around the most important thing in your life. Some of you might be big grand cooks or painters or mountain bikers that require the garage in the back, or you might be like me, someone who sits at a desk for a big chunk of my day doing video editing and being creative that way. So figure out what that one thing is and build your van around it. Some things we see happening amongst other vehicle dwellers, including other YouTubers, is that they get into everything so, so fast. They jump in, they buy the wrong vehicle, and then boom, they have to buy something bigger or smaller because they didn't think hard enough before they started. Or they buy this van, they convert it all out way too fast without getting in the space and learning about the space inside of a van because it's not the same as living in an apartment. <laughs> the space is completely different and you require different things in the van lifestyle than you will in your regular home and sticks and bricks lifestyle. But I see people changing vehicles because they bought one too small or they bought one too big or now they're from a van into a class A or whatever the situation may be. But people make these mistakes because they move too fast at the beginning and don't think about how their life is going to evolve because your life will evolve. And you gotta build your van and Think about the future when it comes to choosing the right vehicle, how you build your van out. Two major, major things. But here's the key to van life. Are you ready for this? I'm about to blow your mind. <laughs> okay, maybe not blow your mind, but there is a type of person that survives in van life because living in a van, like a cargo van, is a whole lot different than living in something bigger like an RV, which is more like a house to me. So van life has its own section of worries and problems and just things that are a little bit more complex than living in a very large space. You see, I love living in a van. I think living in a van is the greatest thing I have ever done. But if you're not willing to make sacrifices in your life and give up some of those creature comforts and luxuries, you will never survive. I've been eating lots of fruit lately. I don't have a bag in my garbage, so I've been just driving and hucking it on the floor back here. For real though, one simple mistake can be the difference between being comfortable in your van and having it feel like home or not feel like home. Remember, one cubic foot mistake in your van, which is a huge amount of space when you live in a space this small, can destroy everything. Take a look at my van build. Just looking at it from here, it contains everything that a van build would need. You got some cabinets for storage, a place to cook, some water, and a bed. But it takes one simple change to convert my van into a fully functional 
creative workspace. One simple board. Yup, this. One simple piece of wood cut to fit exactly where I need it to fit in order to have a functional workspace inside of my van. A lip on this side to sit one side of the board on. And over here, it's got a bunch of grooves along there where the top of this board slips right into. Bam, just like that, I've got myself a creative workspace. Think how insane that is. That one simple piece of wood changes my entire life inside of this van build. One! A real van lifer is somebody who is willing to make the changes and be creative enough inside of their van build to make it work for them no matter what. If you ever watch channels where people say, oh, van life is not good or don't do it because of this, those are just people that weren't meant to breathe the freedom and the realities that van life can offer you. There's definitely a lot of different choices that you can make at the very beginning that's gonna make your van life or bus life or trailer life or RV life, whatever it is you plan on living, smoother and easier. You just gotta think, how much space are you willing to give up? I love my van. I could never see myself living in a motorhome. That's just a ridiculous amount of space for me. This thing works great. I live out of this thing. I explore out of this thing. I travel out of this thing. And most of all, I work full time out of my van. So creating a space that felt beautiful and creative, thank you to Happy Camper Kits for blowing that part of my mind. <laughs> Have you seen my van? <laughs> Just insane. But I work out of here. Like seriously, I spend at least three to five hours every day sitting comfortably at my desk. My bed is super cozy to sit on. My head is exactly right roof height. If I was any taller, I would probably would be preaching a different tune. But my van functionally works for everything that I need it. But you gotta think about that. What do you need out of your van? Is it just going to be a living and travel space? Are you doing it part-time? Or are you gonna do it like me, full-time? I don't think I'll ever stop van life. I may upgrade. I may upgrade to something bigger and taller and more epic, but for now, that thing is incredible. Sure, I live in a space that's about the same size as the average person's bathroom, my entire home. <laughs> I've had apartments with bathrooms bigger than the inside of that thing, but I'm happy. So think about it. Whew. These uh, Chinese mandarin oranges, so good and so cheap right now. Uh, bless that about Christmas time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> One little board changes my entire van life. One board changes the existence that I live in this world. If it wasn't for that one board, my van life would not be as epic as it is today or has been over the last few years. I want you to wrap your head around how silly that sounds. <laughs> Think about it. So when it comes to your van build, something as simple as one board can change your entire life. So what is it about your van build that's going to change your life? What are you going to do inside of your new rolling home that's going to make your van so epic, functional, and useful to you every day? I don't want to see you guys make mistakes. I don't want to see you guys build your vans out way too fast and then all of a sudden you got to rebuild, build 2.0, you know what I mean? Like a full-blown remodel, not like I did. I just moved things around. It all still looks the same as it did when I first built it, 
but I don't wanna see you guys make that mistake. And the worst thing, I don't wanna see you guys buy the wrong van from the beginning. Or worse off, stop van life because you made mistakes in this van and it wasn't as comfortable and home-like as you had hoped or as you had dreamed. So what's that piece of board gonna be in your life? I know, weird way to put it, but if you look at it, one board changes the whole game for me. What's that one thing gonna be in your van? Think about your kitchen, the space you're gonna be using for showers or toilets or stuff that you think in here that you need today. Think about two years from now, because van life is gonna make your life change and evolve. So think about those things now when you're building your van. Don't make those mistakes years later because it's just gonna cost you more money in the end. All right, the whole premise of this video is to tell you that one board changed my life. I was editing this morning and when it popped into my mind and realizing that that one simple piece of wood changed my entire van life. Think about that.